Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky used his address to the UN General Assembly Wednesday to highlight fears of a nuclear incident as his country battles Russian aggression. The Ukrainian leader raised alarm over Russia's potential actions against his country stressing, in Ukraine, we know exactly what we are dealing with. He urged global leaders Wednesday to stand with his country and and thank them for their support more than two years into Russia's war. Thank you very much, dear leaders, your excellencies. Today I want to tell you about a day that has already passed and a day that must never come. On the night of March 4th, 2022, I received one of the most terrifying reports since the beginning of a full-scale Russian invasion against Ukraine. The report was about Russian tanks firing directly at the buildings of our Ukrainian nuclear power plant the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, the largest one in Europe, six nuclear reactors. The Russian army stormed this facility just as brutally as any other during this war, without thinking about the consequences, possibly disastrous. This was one of the most horrifying moments of the war when no one could know how Russian strikes on the nuclear facility would end. And everyone in Ukraine was reminded of what Chernobyl means. Now, the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant remains occupied by Russian forces, unfortunately. And it's at risk of a nuclear incident. This is the major source of radiation danger in Europe, possibly in the world. That's why in the peace formula I presented the first point is about nuclear safety. In Ukraine, we know exactly what we are dealing with. And I want to thank you, the General Assembly members, for adopting a resolution in July this year on the safety of nuclear facilities in Ukraine. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky told the Summit for the Future at the United Nations Monday that his country supports efforts to keep all nations united, safe and strictly adhere to the UN Charter. We are now preparing for the secondary summit moving forward with our partners, Zelensky said. We are working on food security, energy security, and holding Russia accountable for its terror. The Pact for the Future, approved by the General Assembly on Sunday, aims to meet the challenges of the 21st century and unite the world's divided nations to move quickly to implement the agreement's 56 actions. Russia proposed an amendment that would have significantly watered down the agreement. Only six countries supported Russia Iran, Belarus, North Korea, Nicaragua, Sudan and Syria. Fifteen countries abstained. Putin has stolen much already, but he will never steal the world's future. Zelensky said. It's important that the world is working to develop a shared vision for the best future for humanity. As soon as such collective efforts begin, true interests are always revealed. Ukraine supports efforts to keep all nations united, safe and strictly adhere to the UN Charter. This time during the work on the Pact for the Future, the same small group of seven accomplices led by Russia has once again acted destructively, always opposing any global initiatives that strengthen the effectiveness of the UN Charter. We are now preparing for the Second Peace Summit, moving forward with our partners step by step according to the peace formula and we are working on food security energy security and holding russia accountable for its terror we will address 
all other points of the peace formula, including the release of prisoners, the restoration of territorial integrity and more. And we are preparing a document to present at the second peace summit. I invite all leaders nations to continue supporting our joint efforts for a just and peaceful future. Putin has stolen much already, but he will never steal the world's future, I'm sure. I thank you.